Today I'm going to show you guys my haul from the Florida Extravaganza Toy Show that I just went to today. Now usually I do my haul videos at the end of the video I did from the show, but I got so much and some of it's pretty crazy, I decided to make this a separate video. So if you haven't seen the video of the show, I'm going to drop the link for it down in the description. So this is the third year in a row I've been to this show and it's hosted by Florida Toy Shows and the Florida Extravaganza Toy Show is probably my favorite toy show to go to for the year. Maybe the Star Wars Collector Fest show that you do in Orlando is just as good, but this one, I always find stuff. So I've been to a bunch of them. I'll drop the link for all of them down in the description and you can see the kind of stuff that I found, but this one for sure is like my best haul from all of them. So we're gonna start off the first table I went to had a bunch of stuff that was like a dollar and I was like yo if I if I liked it and it was a dollar I picked it up so I had a little pile so the first thing I grabbed was this Hot Wheels Mustafar car like what I didn't know they did like a line of uh, Hot Wheels so there's the car right there right but a dollar and I guess they did a bunch they did Camino Mustafar Tatooine Hoth Dagobah Bespin Endor and Jakku so if you guys have any of these, comment down below which one you have. But the minute I saw Mustafar and a dollar, grabbed it. So we grabbed this. Then he had some sealed episode one packs. So a dollar each. So I did an unboxing where I had two tins of these and we unboxed all of them. So two more for a dollar each. Like steel, I had to. Next was this book, Shadows of the Empire. So I've never read this. Comment down below if you read this and if this is a good one, but I want to say I've heard that this is a good book. Like, it's hardcover, good condition, but like a dollar? Yeah, and look, look at Pops. Do it. Do it. Is what he was saying when I was looking at the table. And then the last thing I got was this sealed Pez dispenser. And does it say what year this is? 19, damn. So this is 1997. So we got a sealed Boba Fett Pez dispenser. I'm probably not going to eat that candy because that is 26 years old. So we'll leave it in there. But for a dollar, just to round everything up to five bucks total from that first table, I had to. So that was the first table. So I was like, cool, I found some, some cheap random stuff. I love the random stuff. The next table I went to, I see this guy all the time at the shows. And he always has a ton of good stuff. So I grabbed three things. No, I grabbed six things from him. So first is this Black Series 3 and 3 quarter Admiral Akbar for five bucks, like steel. It's a trap, you guys know the vibes. Then we got this Iron Man um, Mighty Mugs. So I'm a huge Iron Man fan, but for five bucks, and it was a Toys R Us exclusive. Rest in peace to Toys R Us, even though I think you guys are coming back. So five bucks for Iron Man, couldn't go wrong. He had um war machine for 10 but i'm like ah, eh, it's a little rich for my blood i need a deal next i got three of these magazines from him they are star wars insider so th these were two bucks each so we got one with han on it we got one with clone wars ahsoka and then we got one with the boy luke on it so two bucks each you really can't go wrong these are from 2013 2013 and 2010 so love the old random stuff like this especially at two dollars a pop now the last thing i got from him i saw it and i was like what the heck is this like really so this is from 99 brand new never used it's for kids though i don't have kids maybe one day if i do they'll get this as uh their best birthday present ever but they are darth maul slippers that's right folks Darth Maul slippers. It's a size like 13 wide for kids. Brand new with the tags on. But like, how crazy is that? And imagine if you're a kid wearing these and just running around the house with these Darth Maul slippers. So these were like five bucks or 10 bucks. I don't know, it was something cheap, but I'm such a big Darth Maul fan. And oh man, look at this. It's so sick. So this is gonna go right into the Darth Maul Detoff but had to grab this. So from there, we continued on our journey through the show, and I found this booth that had this master replica, um, it's like a mini scale Darth Maul 
lightsaber. So the master replica box, right? The, now it is missing the plaque that it comes with, but it has the saber in it. And I think these usually go for like a hundred or one fifty or something like that. He was saying. He had it for thirty. I was like, bro, here's a twenty. Have a great day. Bam, Darth Maul. Let's take this out. Actually, I didn't even like look at it. Wow. So it, it has some weight to it for sure. But I mean, it's Master Replica. So anything Darth Maul, I mean, come on. That's my guy right there. So Master Replica Darth Maul mini lightsaber. So after that, I went to my guy um, at Padawan Bear, his table. He does custom hats. So I bought this hat from him at the show he did in Kissimmee, the Kissimmee Collector Fest. So I actually hit him up and asked if he could make a specific hat for me. And he did. So shout out to him. I'm going to drop the link to his Instagram here. You can check him out if you want any hats. But Revenge of the Sith is my favorite Star Wars movie. So he made me two custom Revenge of the Sith hats. Now, boy, I'm going to be wearing the heck out of these. And the thing I like about these hats is, like, they just fit so good. Like, if something fits me good, I just get that in every color possible. So Revenge of the Sith hat. Check him out on Instagram. Um, he also sells on eBay as well too. So if you're interested in any of these hats, he has a bunch of other Star Wars movies, shows, and things like that. So definitely go check him out. But shout out to him for making this for me. I appreciate you. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you, I wasn't planning on spending that much. And not that these were that expensive, but I got three of them so it adds up. But it's, it was such a, like, a rare thing that I don't really see in the toy shows in Florida, at least. So when I saw this dude had eight different ones, I was like, what? So I literally caught him as he was taking them out of the box and putting him on his table. So I probably was one of the first people to see them. He did say one other person actually saw him like with them and said he was going to come back to buy a bunch of them. But sorry, pal. I got there first. So I ended up leaving with three of these. And they're awesome. So this first one is from 2006. It is a Target exclusive. It is the Unleashed Boba Fett. So these Unleashed figures, they're almost like statues. Very detailed, very unique. They usually come in a different type of packaging, but I guess this line, this might have been the second or third wave, came in this tube. So I've never seen the tubes in person until I seen Diamond Figs grab his Luke one off eBay. So this is crazy. Boba Fett, you see the Sarlacc pit, right? Target exclusive. So this is from 2006. So this was one of the ones that I grabbed. Star Wars. There's a, another shot on the back. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to open these or what I'm going to do. Honestly, I don't have space for none of the stuff that I got. I, I don't know. But... This is such a like random thing. I was like, man, I got to take advantage and just whatever. So we worked out a deal and he gave me a good price for three of the ones that I bought. At first, he was like, I'll give you a great deal if you take all eight. And I'm like, whoa, 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 pal. Let's, let, me, let me look, let me think. And I picked the three that I liked the most and wanted the most. Now, the rest were cool, but some of them, I was like, I, I don't really want it. So I could live without it. So this was the first one, Boba Fett. So next, 2006... Right, we got Revenge of the Sith, Obi-Wan Kenobi. So, the infamous Duel of Mustafar scene, right? Look at him. Anakin, you are my brother! I saw this and I was like, wow, that is freaking awesome. So cool. So, I had to pick it up, right? And, you know, you can't have the master without the paddle on, right? So... I didn't just get Obi-Wan. Oh, you could connect them and recreate the scene? Oh my god, these might... Oh, they do connect. Oh, I wasn't... Damn. I wasn't going to open these, but now that... Well, let me, show you the, let me show you the third one. So if you guessed it, the third one is Anakin Skywalker. So this one is freaking sick. Look at him. Look at him. Now, oh man, I didn't realize that they connect, and 
now I'm very tempted to try to make space somewhere so I can open these up and connect them. So if I do that, I will make a separate video on that, opening these up and connecting them. But again, these are from 2006 as well. Does the Boba Fett connect with anything? No, okay, good, good, good. So ended up leaving with all three of these Unleashed figures. I love the Unleashed line. It's, they're just so dope, the detail and stuff. And they're, they're always like a reasonable price. In the comments down below, let me know what your favorite item from my haul was. And check out this video next.